Hi, this is Greg with Dark Connect, here with another Dark Connect video tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to set up and use the Dark Connect player library. You can always select no players and still play as home and away, but using the player library is a great way to personalize your copy of Dark Connect, and it's an absolute must if you want to take advantage of the connect part of Dark Connect's features. By putting in you, your friends, and your teammates' names, email addresses, and yes, even nicknames, you'll be able to unleash the full power of what Dark Connect can do. Here is an example of a filled out player library. You'll probably want to start on your device uh, by putting your name and your information in first. To start adding players to your library, simply tap the Add Player button. A pop-up box will appear where you can fill out a new player's information. Uh, let's add Phil Taylor. For the uh, email part, um, we've made quick keys for the most common email services. So if you have one of these, uh, such as Gmail, uh, all you have to do is type in the uh, username part of the email address and then tap the quick key. And uh, Dark Connect will fill in the rest. Now, if for any reason you want this new player to be automatically deleted from your library after the match is over, uh, press this button that's labeled Mark temp Player as Temporary. Yellow means that that will be activated. Now, down here where it says Display Name, you can put in a nickname that will uh, appear at the, as their name at the top of the scoreboard. When you're done, tap Add Player and confirm that the email address is correct. If it's not correct, just press cancel and go back and fix it. This is correct, so let's press OK. This will return you to the player library, and if you want to add more players, just tap the Add Player button again. Once you're done entering players, you should back up your player library. Uh, to do that, let's tap the button at the top labeled Manage Player Library. Here on the bottom left, you'll see the red Backup Library button. This will overwrite any previous copy of your library that you have stored, so make sure that any changes you have made are permanent. Uh, let's go ahead and back up our library. On this screen, uh, you can also manage other aspects of your player list, uh, including adding a new player, uh, editing the info of an existing player, or even delete a player. For example, let's uh, delete John Lowe. First we press the delete button and it'll uh, turn yellow and all of the player names will turn off or gray. Uh, pick the player you want to delete by tapping them and making them yellow. Then press uh, delete players at the bottom of the screen and confirm that you really want to make this change. Now to go back to the library, uh, press continue. Dark Connect will ask if you want to back up the library. Uh, you can either press yes or not now. Let's take a closer look at the player listings. This player library only has 12 players in it right now, but over time it could grow substantially. If the list becomes too long for one page, you can scroll the list by sliding on this area here on the right or you can jump to a specific part of the alphabet to find people by last name uh, by tapping any of the letters here on the left. You may also notice that some players have a white flight next to their name while others have a grayed out flight. A white flight indicates that that player has an email address in their record. If you want to add an email for a player or edit any part of their information, just tap the flight icon and you'll be able to update anything in their record. If a player does have their email in Dark Connect, they will get a match recap sent to them from the matches that they play in. Okay, now let's set up a game. Notice how the library lists each player twice in these side-by-side -side columns. The side you pick the player name on will be the side in which they appear on. Once they are picked for one side, they'll be unselectable on the other side. If you're playing a singles match, pick one name on each side, 
And if you're playing a doubles match, pick two names on each side. Dark Connect can also do triples and quads. When you select a player, their name will turn red and will also appear at the top of the screen in yellow. If you pick the wrong names and want to start all over, just tap the Reset Picks button for the side you wish to redo. We'll reset both sides. Let's set up a doubles match. And we're ready to go. So we'll press Cork to start. From here, you can also do a coin toss, skip shooting cork altogether, or press random and let the computer pick who goes first. And down here at the bottom, if you've noticed uh, you pick the wrong players by mistake, tapping change players will take you back to the player library. Let's try the random start, and we'll play cricket. Well, it's chosen my side to start. Now remember that you also have to pick which player is going first. Uh, you can do this at any point during the game, but you should do it at the beginning. So uh, if I go first, I would pick my name first, and you can pick the person who's going first on the other side as well. Just click on their name. This will make sure that the appropriate statistics are attributed to the correct player, as well as putting the correct name up at the top of the scoreboard for whoever's turn it is. If for any reason you make a mistake on that, at any point in the game you can just tap on the name again and reselect the players. Okay, that's all you need to know about how to set up and use DarkNX player library features. I encourage you to start putting in all your friends and teammates and everyone you play darts with. Having your name and even nickname on the scoreboard adds an element of fun to the game and getting match recaps with stats in your email is a tremendous tool for players that are trying to measure their performance. Once again, this is Greg with Dark Connect. Thanks for watching our video. Visit our website at darkconnect.com for more information and shoot well.